Welcome to List Fit Live, where we give you a guided tour of San Diego's hottest homes for sale. I'm here with Tyler Matthews. Good to see you again. Yes, good to have you Happy in. Happy to be here. Yes, we always love having you in, and we are so excited to share your latest listing. This one looks gorgeous over down in Chula Vista off Via Majori. Uh, 91914 zip code. Tell us about this five bed, four and a half bath home. Yeah, so this home is spectacular. It's in the Vista del Cielo community, which is the highest community up above East Lake, overlooking Otay Lakes. It's stunning. There's only 52 homes in this guard gate community, and they're rarely available. So there's been a lot of showings, a lot of excitement about this home. It's a really large home and it really lives indoors and outdoors. So there's a couple exterior patios that really connect the stunning interior space to the outdoors with huge trifold doors and uh, this La Cantina doors and windows that open completely up to this outdoor dining space. And you have stunning views. So the, the community is really unique in that there's some interior lots that kind of have homes and neighbors that kind of look right down into your backyard. This is one of the exterior lots, so much higher demand looking over on San Miguel Mountain there. So it's a complete view lot, stunning views, stunning sunsets. We were just talking that we didn't actually have to edit any of these sunsets or anything like that. We were there a few hours and as the sun set, it just totally transforms into this spectacular outdoor entertainment space with a nice lawn, gas fireplace, outdoor kitchen, some string lights, and just tons of grass and room for the kids to play. And then there's a really cool kind of slope up which almost gives you a sense of privacy. They have some really neat garden boxes there that they grow some vegetables in. And uh, it's just a really, really cool home, really, really rare opportunity to own inside of Vista del Cielo. And it's huge. Um, the, that's one of the first things people, when they walk in, they just feel it's so incredibly open. Nothing's crammed, and they have large furniture, and it still just feels like a really neat place that you're going to walk in. So stunning gourmet kitchen, really, really neat chef's kitchen with a large island. You know, you could... Uh, cook and entertain and you could have your guests pull up right there on this huge oversized island and uh, just stunning stainless steel appliances, real dark wood cabinetry, stunning stone backsplash there. Uh, you still do have a really nice formal dining area with just tons of windows. I love how much natural light gets let in. and Just neat flooring, great tile throughout the home. And uh, again, this is kind of that downstairs great room that connects the kitchen to the dining to the living space. There's also a really cool kind of breakfast nook area that has an eight person round table for a little bit more intimate dining um, or breakfast in the morning. And just everyone loves these exposed beams. There's whole home audio. You see speakers everywhere. It's completely tricked out. A lot of different builder upgrades that they've done. This is that separate breakfast area kind of off the entry. And it's just a really kind of cozy room. Um, there's a dual pantry, which is one of the builder options that they elected for. Uh, just off to this breakfast area and that dual pantry is something that some of the other owners in the neighborhood have come by and really been impressed with. They kind of wish they would have opted for it because it's two big walk-in pantries. Downstairs still, a big house. This is a really cool kind of uh, office space, if you will, that has its own walkout to the patio. Um, we've had some really neat conversations with some buyers about transforming this area into a really cool pool table room or a game room or even a, a little cinema movie theater area sealed off with some neat glass walls. Uh, just really kind of making it a unique space. Uh, upstairs, we have four bedrooms upstairs. This is the primary suite, and again, just the views are stunning. So a complete wall right there of glass that opens up to a private outdoor deck with fireplace. And I really love how the architecture carries these beams through the home again. So upstairs now, we still have these exposed beams in the ceiling, and uh, it's just a really, really big kind of master retreat. This is the deck outside of the master bedroom and a uh, gas fireplace as well. There is one, two, three, four different fireplaces throughout the exterior spaces of the home, which makes it really, really fun at night. It gets all lit up. It's stunning. And uh, this is just a super cool place to, you know, wake up with your morning coffee and kind of get ready for the day as the sun rises over the mountains and everything starts to really light up. Uh, really stunning, really large. I know that I keep saying that, but this is the, the primary bathroom. So you kind of have um, two vanity uh, areas here with a huge stand-up shower, beautiful tub, again, with tons of windows that overlooks the mountains. You're very private up in here, um, but you can really open up the windows and let a lot of natural light in as well. So four bedrooms upstairs, and this is not one of them. This is actually an open uh, kind of loft area, and we've seen people transform these areas into really, really cool kind of lounges with big, soft, sink-in cushion uh, couches with a large screen or even a projector. 
It's all pre-wired for, uh, I believe, 7.1 uh, stereo, but it's a really, really cool area. And out all these windows, and you'll see plantation shutters everywhere. Big, big upgrade. Um, but you actually have lake views from up on top, which is neat. There's a four-car garage, so two separate two doors, two-car doors. And one of them has been completely transformed into a, a at-home gym with a sauna. And it's just a really, really neat use of the space where you know you can exercise in the, the privacy of your own home uh, or convert it back to a garage. It would simply be removing all the gym equipment. And you have room for four cars uh, tucked away inside the home and then plenty of space on the driveway. We're back to the front. That's it. Awesome. Yeah, fun well, tour. This definitely seems like it's such a family estate with yep. a lot of bedrooms, a lot of space, that yep. huge backyard. Um, and you could even probably put a pool in if you wanted there's to. There's so much potential for a pool. And there's some really neat pools in this neighborhood if people want to come by and get some ideas. The other thing I would add, too, is there's a downstairs casita. So okay. a lot of people are looking for that mother-in-law suite. Mm -hmm. It's got its own laundry, plenty of space to throw in a kitchen. It's got a living room and a separate bedroom with separate entrance. So it kind of checks off all the boxes. Well, if someone wants to take a look at this in person, are you going to be doing any open houses this weekend? We're doing about one open house a week. So we should okay. have one on Saturday, I believe. And uh, But it's super easy to show. I can meet you there, get it all lit up, and open it up. My cell phone is 619-992-0808. We're happy to show it for you. Thank you so much. And if you're looking for a home with spectacular views and space down in Chula Vista, give Tyler a call, and he'd be more than happy to show it to you.